My favourite point guard of all time, and is probably the only person that made me question whether Mike was still my favourite player, right. was Alan Iverson. Oh, man, they, uh, they loved him in Philly too, man. Being from Philly, man, like, they what was your him. take on the impact that he had, I guess, on Philadelphia, yeah. on the NBA, and then and basketball as a whole? I, I, th I think what happens is that he fit it right into the narrative of how Philadelphians are, right? His whole persona, right? So how he played the game, how he related to people, you know, that's that's the Philly way, man. That's the Philly way. And I think Allen Iverson tapped into that when he came to Philly. So they didn't look at, they was going to watch this cat play basketball. They just like, like Allen Iverson was some cat that they knew yeah. On the streets, man. Right, like you know, and mm -hmm. he just happened to play basketball. You know what I mean? So, um, I think he connected with the people from Philadelphia, man, uh, in a, a very emotional and spiritual way. The whole nine yards, and then him being out there playing basketball and doing his thing, the way he went about his business. I think Philadelphia people just like this dude was like us, mm. like us, man. It's yeah, like blue collar. Yeah, like blue collar, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just straight, it's straight, and straight up. Mm. You know, there's no, there's no, there ain't no tricks up the sleeve. He's straight up. <laughs> yeah, man. No, I mean, that, the, the, I remember like prior to him, the image yeah. was different in the yeah. NBA. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like tattoos oh, yeah. wasn't really a thing, and, yeah. and the hair, and yeah. the clothes, and everything. Yeah. And and when he came in, because I'm pretty sure, yeah. man. The sleeve. Yeah. He yeah, came in right. with that. Yeah. That's the first guy I seen with. It. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, I don't actually know yeah. what that was about. And I still, I mean, is the sleeve a performance thing now, right? Supposedly. Supposedly. Yeah, you know, sportswear is like a fashion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like fashion but I, I think that at first it was like, because he had a lot of tattoos when he first yeah. came in. And I think he had some tattoos to try and cover it up. That, yeah, that That's like a, the NBA tried they, to. Yeah, I, I didn't think, well, I guess some of the tattoos that they had, uh, I didn't think that, you know, when the camera zoom in on you, they don't want to catch something and all of that stuff. That yeah. Might be a little bit challenging and all of that <laughs> stuff until they want it. So, yeah. So that I'm sure they probably, that might have been part of the reason why. Um, they might have, might have spoken with them about that, but I think they probably speak to most NBA players about it. because tattoo is like common. Mm. And uh, now, and like they, everyone's yeah. rocking the sleeve. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, isn't it funny, man, when you look at tattoos, how tattoos man. I remember back in the day, man, yeah, tattoo, they look at you like you were some like rebel or something. Yeah, man. man. You're like, man, out of jail or something. Yeah, or yeah. Isn't that now, it's like this. He's looking at Mr. Apple Pie Ice King, dude. I'm getting me a tattoo, right? <laughs> right. Straight up, man. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> and I think, I mean, I think AI, uh, to my understanding, was a huge part of the reason why yeah. the NBA changed the dress code. Yeah. Um, because I guess he was just coming in with that street flavor. Yeah. And I guess maybe David Stern was a bit like, not sure whether this yeah. is where. Yeah. Is that kind of what you think I, happened? I think so. Well, they was, I think, concerned about where the league, where the image was going. And obviously the league has to protect their brand. So, you know, I'm sure with some things about Allen Iverson uh, that was very, very challenging for the, for the league itself. Mm. Because he was so yeah, popular. Yeah, yeah, he was so popular. <laughs> but at the same time, like, you couldn't control him like that. He was uh, like a rebel. Yeah, man. He now, was that really yeah, hip -hop he was just, yeah, yeah, he worked the whole, and, you know, hip-hop and basketball has gone with each other for whatever, yeah, man, really. You know what I mean? It's like a marriage, you know? Because uh, uh, that's where the game is from. It's from the streets, man. You know yeah. what I mean? And at the end of the day, uh, that's how they move that. That's how they communicate in the street. Hmm. You know what I mean? So, uh, out there balling, you go to any playground in the United all States. Like all like that. They all like an AI, man. You know? And, uh, yeah, just doing their thing, man. You know? And they all talk. 
That's exactly this is this is the conversation that they have. Mm. You know what I mean? So the the, the, the lesson. Oh yeah.